Hello, um, I'm Neil Adams and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover some of the uh, controversial points uh, and some of the grey areas that are knocking about at the moment as far as the new rules are concerned. Um, I've just recently come back from Mitisil uh, and the IJF uh, actually uh, had 15 of the top referees there to put forward uh, some of the interpretations of the new rules to all of the players there and also to the coaches as well. And what was evident was that not only were the uh, referees confused, but at the end of it, a lot of us were um, very, very confused as, uh, as to what some of the interpretations were going to be. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cover some of the uh, possible interpretations, have a look at some of the grey areas, and um, try and put your minds at rest uh, as to how to play some of the, um, uh, some of the more extreme penalty uh, things that can happen, uh, for example, if we're attacking below the, the belt line. So, um, you know, a couple of points and uh, we'll have a look at the grey areas and see, um, see what we can come up with. One of the, one of the first uh, situations that we're going to actually cover is, um, is the feint uh, to Uchimata or any attack all right, which actually gets a, a reaction uh, with, with the Uki just blocking um, the leg. And of course, because now we can't uh, attack anything below the belt line, all right, it means that any touch with a hand below the belt line is an immediate Hon Sokomaki. Okay, so Hon Sokomaki, which is an extreme uh, penalty uh, for anybody to get, especially for, just for a reaction. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, some of the different situations. Okay, and <clears throat> it might be from an Uchimata, and it might not be a fully blown Uchimata. Okay, off you go. Okay, and. There's the reaction and there's the touch. And you can see that as he starts to actually twitch, okay, his reaction, all right, his partner's reaction is to just block by putting the hand on the hip. Okay, and stop. Take this one step further, just keep it recording. Yeah. Let's take this one step further. Um, <clears throat> When can we actually grip the leg uh, as a counter? All right, because we know that we can we can actually counter our opponent if he's done an attack. So how far do we let him attack? Uh, is one of the main points. So for example, if you're coming for the uchimata, Tom. Okay. So Tom comes in for an uchimata here. Okay. And now, all right, if we turn it around, turn it around. All right. Once the uchimata is in full flow then it is possible for the opponent to grip the leg here, all right? So now, he can actually counter for a score, all right? Once it's been fully uh, committed to. The big problem we've got, and this is the, uh, one of the gray areas, is that if it's not a fully committed Ujimata, and the leg's just literally placed inside here, and he grabs the leg too early, who gets the penalty, all right? And some of the controversy that we, we were um, uh, finding was that this was a big gray area in is that if we read it and we actually take the leg before the Uchimata is fully committed or before the technique is fully committed, all right, if it's, uh, for example, Haragoshi, okay? So partner comes in for Haragoshi here, all right? If you touch the leg here on the inside, if it's not fully committed, Who's going to get the penalty? Is it this person? Uh, uh, that's, uh, is it this person? Sorry, is going to get the penalty? All right, or is the referee just going to let it carry on? So, <clears throat> one of the uh, big crucial points here is when to do an attack. 